Dear Diary, I might look fine, but I'm so exhausted. I feel I need a two month long vacation every time I come back. Where I can do whatever I want, chill and relax. It was 2017 that I got into this prestigious college. I always wanted to study fashion and there wouldn't be any other place I'd rather be so I don't take any of this experience for granted. I was in the city of joy, they said, and there was so much life in me to explore every lane, secret spots. I must say the city is indeed beautiful, that I wanted to have a home here. There were both ups and downs, you know, lost roads, being broke, being my own person, false promises, and so many disrespectful people, and all the landlords, God, I can go on and on about them. Why can't people just respect people, irrespective of their age? I've been on the edge, guards up all the time. I thought college was meant to be fun along with these hurdles. And then came the responsibility of academic excellence. I missed a bunch of extremely talented people all around the country. Where do I even stand? Not to forget my own self-criticizing thoughts, the hardcore judgment of our work. I grew a tough skin. I pretended it didn't affect me. But what cost? But it's not like I hate at all. I mean, I met some amazing people. Some at the beginning and some at the later stage. Humans are social beings. I wouldn't have understood otherwise. To make my life a hell lot easier. But the exhaustion? It never stopped. Maybe it was the way that I was living. I've always thought I was more of a nature person and the cities, you know, however beautiful, are not meant for me. I wanted to run off somewhere in the woods far away, but for now, home was the only thing I could think of. Home, my hometown. It was 14 March 2020 and I can never forget this date. Me and my friends never took the situation of coronavirus seriously. But what we did take seriously was a three week long holiday just to get away with the hustle to breathe a little and I couldn't contain my happiness when they announced that my college was actually about to be closed. Me and my roommate we jumped with joy. Just a couple of days off, have the rejuvenation from the chaos, come back and join refreshed. I mean the mere thought of it was so refreshing. Me and my roommate believed that we manifested our thoughts into reality. Oh God, home is my only escape. I always flew back whenever my college announced any holiday. Maybe I'm not equipped for the city or maybe I don't like the ugly faces or the hustle or the race. I came back home and one month down, I was happy to feel at home, doing things I wanted, surrounded by my family. I was so grateful, even though the situation was worse outside, and I knew that, but I couldn't empathize because when did we ever get a time to genuinely empathize with our surrounding? In the second month flew by and the third, my college resumed online, and it's been 90 days that I hadn't stepped out of my house, and with this time, for so long. I was so equipped with activities, assignments, exams, internship, on and on, and suddenly I had nothing on the plate. It was empty, dark, and shallow. I was absorbing the energy around me, I guess. I had my time, but at what cost? I began to question, who was I? What was I doing? And there were days of sleepless nights. Then there were days I slept a lot. Some day I cried myself to sleep remembering my past. And on some days I felt numb. But I looked fine on the surface. My escape, my home, was not really my escape after all. It was my mind. And my home was. My space, which was cluttered for a long time. Finally it was loaded with so much. I couldn't help but clean. Heal. Healing is important. Cleaning the load, cleaning the clutter and cleaning your life. 
for it is important no matter how hard it is. I wouldn't say I'm doing great or I'm there yet, but I'm better. I'm better than I usually am, I'm better than I usually think, and also I'm better than I usually feel. And I think I could just keep going. Until next time, love always.